What's up, YouTube? My latest addition, this RGT Crusher, old Dodge Power Wagon Crawler, short wheelbase. Some of you know I got a 118th Crawler, FMS Atlas. So I'm just online on uh, Googling, looking for real Power Wagon Crawlers, just to watch some videos of them. Then I came across this baby. Saw it, loved it, had to have it. So after I ordered it, then I got on YouTube, started looking at the reviews. Well, I should have did that before I ordered it, but it is what it is. Got on there, found some reviews. I mean, not not nobody really complained about it. So small things here and there. Like the servo, I agree with them, the servo's horrible. It won't even center the wheels. So I already ordered the servo, so that's coming in. Everybody's talking about the shocks, the metal drive line. Oh, that's great. But and uh the Hobby Wing ESC. I believe it's a 1060. Yeah, it's not a 1080, it's a 1060. I put my little light switch in there. So anyway, nobody really talked about the receiver. So as I'm changing out the lights, as I notice, the brake light won't come on with the headlights, uh, with the headlights. So I think it's a bad switch or something's wrong, but everybody's doing it. There's probably something that has to be changed or set. So I just skipped it. I don't feel like going through that. Because I wanted to run them off my um, a spare channel. Remotely control the lights like I try to do most of my cars. So anyway, cracked open the case. Yo, check this receiver out. I got to get the focus here. All right, there's the regular channels. I think the wires in the way, but this this is it right here. Check this out. I oh, gotta get in this focus. Okay, there we there we go. RL cornering, so basically turn signals. Turn the wheel a certain way, that light goes off. Brake light, that's supposed to be the top light in the back deck. That doesn't come on, but like I said, I ain't looking to it. I just unplugged it from there and hooked it up to my uh, remote switch. The flashers, that's cool as hell. That's on channel three. Um, I'll show you the little demo after this, after this chat. But that's real cool. I'm keeping that where it is. Backup light, there's no backup lights here, so that channel is free, but it's available. And the headlights. Originally, the headlights and the tail light. Plug it on the side right there for easy access. Like I said, I pulled them out, hooked it up to the remote switch. So they all work off the channel four, actually. I'm running off of channel four. But besides your traditional channel three and four, you got these over here. Myself, I only seen stuff like this on drift cars. I never seen this much in a crawler or anything besides the drift car. Even my traction hobby has a lot of functions, but doesn't have its own separate setup like this. This is real cool. Anyway, we'll give you a quick demo. One more thing while I'm at it. I did change the battery connector. It comes with a Dean's. I put XT90 on there. I changed the uh, ESC over the LiPo. Got an SMC LiPo in there. 7200 milliamp. That's a little over triple the size of the stock battery. The stock nickel battery that comes with it. 
the adapter is because I wanted the XT90 on this and I also wanted to run my old batteries that pretty much all has castle on them so I just made the little adapter right there so now I just remove the adapter put a different battery on it with a XT90 on it so that right there fits in there nice and snug perfect 7200 milliamp I see a stock battery the nickel battery is right there 2000 so yeah that's it more to come as you said left a little spot up there I mean my own splitter so I got the rear lights the headlights I left one open so I'm going to put something with that and something else. We all see when it happens. Peace.